meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with your first alert storm team forecast. Well, the weather has remained quiet for the last couple of days, or we're just kind of stuck in a very steady, very consistent weather pattern. Chilly mornings, cool afternoons. That's what we're seeing out there right now. And we will have another beautiful sunset. That's the live view from our studio cams. We've got it pointed right at that sun. And with some of those passing clouds, again, nice sunset tonight. Having some instrument problems out there at Mobile Regional Airport, but temperatures at this hour hovering in the lower 60s. Orange Beach sweat tires cam. It's 59, a little bit cooler at this location. Breezes have gone completely calm. And we'll zip on over to Pensacola Beach. Nice view there with some golden hues at the Portofino Resort looking off to the east this evening. Another dry day tomorrow. Green and Phillips umbrella. Leave it at home as we will continue with this kind of just steady as she goes pattern here by 9 p.m. tonight. Well, some of these mid and high level clouds will stick around chilly, but not as cold as where we were at this, uh, this point last night around 45 degrees tomorrow morning. Also not quite as chilly. Temperatures right around 41 degrees and then near 60 again tomorrow afternoon. Some lower 60s will be possible again. Just some scattered clouds throughout the day with light and steady winds out of the northeast. 60 degrees now at Pensacola. We're reporting now 59 in Mobile, 58 for Bay Minette. 58 for Monroeville and 56 uh, degrees there for Evergreen. So again, these temperatures still running maybe two or three degrees below average here, but still very pleasant feel to the air. So temperatures, let's go and take you through the rest of the night here. You'll notice the little arrows denoting the steady wind right now around five miles per hour, but the wind will start to pick up just a bit late tonight and into early tomorrow, more in that five to 10 mile per hour range with some stronger breezes at the coast. And notice again, 30s inland, lower to middle 40s along the coast and then throughout the day tomorrow winds will again tick up a little bit more perhaps 10 to 15 miles per hour even stronger winds along the coastal communities with lower middle 60s tomorrow afternoon so the predictor continues to paint in some of these high clouds weak cold front off to the north will really have zero impact on our weather again noticing most of those mid and high level clouds and we're going to maintain dry weather here through your Wednesday likely through Thursday as well although with more clouds coming in we will Again, see a little less sunshine come Thursday uh, compared to what you will see tomorrow. Now we stay dry here, but all eyes on the weekend. It's still a high degree of uncertainty regarding these weekend rain chances. Some of our global models staying a little bit drier, some giving us quite a bit of rain. So again, very complex system developing. So we'll be going up and down with these rain chances in the coming days. I would at least prepare for the chance of some clouds, some windy weather, and perhaps some rain that could impact some of your weekend plans. And then we will dry things out early next week. Morning temperatures consistent in the 40s and highs ranging from 60 to 63 over the next seven days. Now your first alert traffic with a 